Hello again. Welcome back. I hope you're having a magical day. And thank you for taking the time to support the channel. My name is Hello Good Game, your host within today's Magic the Gathering Arena deck guide. Playing Grixis mid range within Wilds of Eldraine in standard best of one mythic rank. We're going to break down the deck list within today's video, discussing the strategies and synergies held within, doing our best to then demonstrate this against the best decks and players in the world, and then we'll wrap up with our final thoughts and deck review. All right, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to help support myself as well as the channel and future content. Okay, and let's take a look at the new deck. Here we are, Grixis Midrange 3.0, something that we've actually been working with quite a bit within the new set because I absolutely love the Apprentice's Folly for four mana as an enchantment saga on the first two triggers when it enters and then on your next draw step choosing a target non-token creature you control that doesn't have the same name as a token that you control making a token copy of that creature it's non-legendary if the original was legendary which is uh crazy good it also gains haste um, which is very cool and will be a reflection in addition to its other types so the really cool thing is uh, the amount of value that can be generated with this card there are things that we can copy like the blood tithe harvester allowing us to a apply pretty decent tempo pressure within that three powered creature but also utilizing that removal as well as stacking blood tokens now, right? So we can, uh, you know, copy the Harvester, immediately sack it to remove a thing, next turn copy it again, and that is just like a two for one removal, uh, which is really cool, right? Uh, we also have the Scarming Chounce, <laughs> LOL, Charming Scoundrel, <laughs> uh, which is nice to copy uh, for the Wicked Roll tokens, increased damage output as well as the uh, drawing a card on an empty hand. This is always quite nice as well. And maybe you need treasures, but probably not so much at that point as you would already have the four mana, right? Uh, another really cool card to copy, the Corpse Appraiser, right? When it enters the battlefield, exile a creature card from a grave. If you do look at the top uh, do, 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 three cards of your library and, uh, you know, grab the, one of those non-lands, uh, not even one of those non-lands, one of those cards in general into your hand. Um, imagine knowing what this card does add up. There's so much text there, you know, just assume. Just, you're always best just to assume. The Trespasser has an ETB. Um, the Ward is nice as well, you know, grabbing a card from their graveyard. And if, you know, the situation arises that, that you have to do that, great. Uh, one of our favorite cards is to copy, Shielded, obviously. Uh, to have multiple copies of Shielded in play is like an absolute meme. We're able to pull it off a couple times uh, within the deck testing here. Uh, a little bit more aggressive within the ranked queue because people are a little bit more on the ball, obviously, but uh, still definitely a possibility. And that's going to ruin, you know, literally every single game. Uh, and we also have the Resurrected here, which is kind of cool um, because it's just like a creature removal, um, much like the Harvester, right? So we do really good against decks that have uh, a medium to heavy creature base. Looking at you, Mono Red, um, <laughs> because there's so much removal in the deck, right? But it's not only the Harvester, it's not only the Resurrected. Uh, you know, we have plenty of, uh, you know, regular removal here as well, right? Cut down, Torch the Tower, Make Disappear, Go for the Throat, uh, Lock Thwain, Soren, as well as, um, you know, like I aforementioned, the Harvester, right? So uh, plenty of removal within the deck, which is quite nice. Go for the throw. I think maybe I forgot to mention that. Um, and then the, the Resurrected also alongside the Harvester. So plenty of removal within the build. Um, you know, we've got the Quasi Draw within the Scoundrel and the Appraiser, which is pretty decent. Uh, the Dragon's Expensive Taste as the Adventure can grab us, you know, some additional value from our opponent's deck, which is always quite nice. And then make the treasure so we can cast those. A Scoundrel can help with that mana base as well. Um, Beseech is really cool. Um, so, uh, you know, on phase three, we're going to have to sacrifice all our reflections here, but we can get around that, right? If we sacrifice the enchantment with Torch the Tower, with Beseech the Mirror, right? We can, uh, you know, have this third phase not trigger, leaving us with multi shoulders, right? Now that's the name of the game and what we're looking to accomplish. You know, later on in life, you know, we do have the persistence to just bring all these creatures back into play at the beginning of our upset upkeep upstep <laughs> i'm on one today uh and that's gonna be you know really good because we have a ton of creatures in deck you can see there are 20 creatures to our 16 non-creatures 2.9 average on 24 land um so you know pretty nice build uh the curve has been changed from the earlier versions and now i think that's what's driving a lot of the success in this uh variant of the deck is we have a lot of early game removal just stop 
playing mono red, please. I'm going to dunk on every single thing you cast. Uh, and then, you know, we do make out all right within that mid game graveyard control shenanigans, generating value, continuing to remove everything while applying pressure. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, the, the meta is the way it is for a reason. So, it, you know, we're doing good to compete against it, I find. Lots of land for consistency. The, you know, the Grixis land is here. Uh, very, very nice for us. There's no creature lands in here within the new set, which is the saddest thing. But uh, it's okay. It's okay, right? And we've got the utility lands here as well within the Defiance, the City, and the Mire. And, uh, you know, just having a ton of fun within the build. So if you have any questions, any comments and concerns, hit us up down below. And myself and the community will do our best to address all that, right? So uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Other than the comments, you can leave a like. Just watch the whole thing. It really does help support. You can become a YouTube member as well. It costs you like a 2 or $3 a month. And uh, that does go a massive uh, distance as well. Cheers. Enjoy today's gameplay. And let's let it rip. Opponent's going to go first. Let's keep seven. All right. Cliff Shores. Very nice. Oh, a domain deck. Beautiful. I haven't seen one of those before. It's, uh, you know, I don't know. Like, people refuse to play other decks. It's like you're at 93%, bro. Like, well, I'm beating you at 95%. I'm going to 94%. I don't know. It's silly to me, but people be out there, you know? That's just an easy kill to me. I take that every single time. I'd rather double drop. Expensive tastes. What do we got here? <laughs> yeah, like I'm ever going to cast that. I'm fairly certain they have removal. So we're chilling. Five mana? No, not happening. Absolutely not. It's probably a field wipe. Which means we should only play one thing instead of two. One Sunfall, please. Oh. Unexpected. Double dragon, double treasure. Maybe we will cast it. They really need to wipe the field now. Big time need to wipe the field. They're just going to take out a dragon. Okay, I mean, that's really good. That counterspell is really good, too. It's a uh, bargain, the enchantment away. I guess I can stay, it's not bad. 
And then we'll finish it off with a virtue. And that lets us hit for 10. Counter spells up. Are we beating the domain deck? We're in a casualty. The token. They can't pay four. Easy peasy, a lemon squeezy. I don't mind. Good game, homie. We did that on four land as well. Okay. Showing signs of life. All right, we're going to go first. I uh, don't mind the hand. It's a good opener. It's a little slow, but uh, well, we could, could be fast or paying life. Paying life anyways, actually. Big chillin'. Mono green. Uh, enchantments. Good lord. We want to get this out uh, right away because it can just dunk on the uh, naturalist. Okay, they're going to go with the companion then, which is great because now it opens up counter magic for us. for three. Pass turn. Mm, it's not ideal, but it's the only thing to go this turn. It is what it is. That's fine. Okay, that's fine too. We're going to save the Harvester, so maybe we can double drop on our next draw. Okay, we can get some value here. There's some value available. Oh, there's not... I thought that was destroy permanent. Oh, this is only destroy creature or planeswalker. That's a mistake on my behalf then. That's on me. 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 I just assumed it was destroy permanent. It's okay though. Not my first misplay, won't be my last. We're gonna get there. All right, it's a nice counter spell here, so. A little misstep in tempo, quite a bit actually, but let's continue to hit. The good news is, is we still have the counterspell, right? Yeah. 
increase tempo. Counter it before the plus one counter comes out. They get the draw, that's fine. Now attack our turn. I'm going to cycle this land away, I think. How relevant. Okay. Maybe they bring it back with like a restoration. Down to eight, big chillin'. We may need to look for... It'd be our third though, right? Yeah. Ugh. Do we even have three? Oops. Yeah, we do. Toss the land for a draw. <sighs> We're keeping it. I can't toss either of these. They're going to take the Harvester. That's fine. Naturalist in play. No, they would have done that first. It's something, though. He's got haste. Let's see where we get. I'm going to hold removal here. Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to hold some removal up. Gonna hold some removal up. It's never a bad decision. Yeah. That was close. We're lucky we've got enough to removal, uh, enough removal to sustain us through that uh, starting part of the game until we can really get some value down. All right, going first, nice land. Um, there's some good interaction here along the way. Good removal. Mm. Probably utilizing this virtue. First and foremost, alongside the cut down, saving go for the throat, saving make disappear. Um, they, have, they have bigger targets to hit. This is really good against a red deck here. I'll let them play it. Hopefully we can get to fourth land. Countering this next turn is more important than anything. But this is a great offset. Right? Godric on turn three? Yeah, okay, so that's what I was thinking about, but it's fine because, you know, we'll just we'll counter the next one. <laughs> we'll still slam on this one, right? And then make disappears up. We're at 19 life. This is not bad. Yeah, why not? Let's hold, right? Might be removal. If not, we'll just take their cards. Which isn't, I don't think, great against mono red. You don't want to be too slow, but if they're not doing anything, that's fine. 
I mean, maybe sling a couple spells at me, but I don't, you know, 18 life. It's not too much of a... Th they probably love that. They're like, yes! <laughs> Get that land out of here! <laughs> bok, bok! <laughs> That's what I hear when the, uh, the goose comes out. Bok, bok! <laughs> Counter magic up, uh, you know, less effective at this point in the game with a with a deck that's so low to the ground here, right? So let's see what we get. Good block here. Good block, block. Uh, it could be a rage. Uh, monstrous rage. Okay, I mean, I don't mind that in the grave. We're playing to seven land. We're just going to bring it back and eat your spell simultaneously. Take it. I'd rather you hit the dragon than me. I have literally no problem with that. Bok, bok. <laughs> Let's hold up counter magic. It's children. It's it's a little bit better than just bringing back a dragon slowly. Like yes, we're still gonna bring the dragon back, but we're in no rush. This is a blocker, a balk blocker. I'm just gonna take it. get in there and 19 life i'm sure we survive one more turn and at that point you know we're going to town uh we have the one creature they themselves have a few <laughs> no attacks big ch, -ch, -ch chillin yeah like the chia commercial ch ch, -ch chia <laughs> yeah, welcome you know to the maze that is sometimes it's fun Oh, bring back our boy. Well, like crazy, we're just like, we get that card back, <laughs> right? We get that back, you know, no attack. We only balk balk. And once things are there, they're like, you know, they're so prevalent. I can't get rid of them. Down to 20 life. What will I do? Hey, can we pay? We don't have any good spells to cast. But I'll still pay. Good game, homie. It's nice to beat Mono Red, honestly. Two land looking pretty grim, but, you know, I mean, that's the nice thing about the Scoundrel. It's going to help clean it up. On the draw is never great. Hmm, Thalia's not the worst. Definitely not the worst. I'm going to keep it slow here for now. Right, we can sack on Thalia, take it with the Trespasser. Oh, that is so good. Let's block the token for now. <sighs> Another treasure or blood token off the top. Oh, that is good though. Confirm the treasure. Kill it. Or dunk on Thalia. Let's take Thalia. Grab it from the grave. Grab a life. Right? And maybe we can block this Cathar. We know it pushes to two organically with the attack. Which we would still probably just block the token. 
Initiate takes it to three, so no longer blocking it. Hopefully there's not a copper coat. Trepid, not kicked, so that's fine. Taking four, down to 14. Ouch. No land. We'd have to pay two life for this. Let's do a treasure token. Play our other harvester. Which can kill Adeline next turn. No attack. We have a double block as well. Not the worst. It's not a situation I really want to be in, right? But. We'll parse our way through it. We'll play the best match we can. Try not to misplay. And maybe enjoy a nice coffee break. They're thinking about it, right? They've got uh, four cards in hand. Oh, okay. That's really good for next turn. Do you think they lose their Adeline? I would double block the uh, the heck out of that thing. Oh, without hesitation. It would be my greatest joy. I mean, it was going to sack to kill it anyways. Right? No problem. I guess the big question is, do they have Exile in their hand? Is there a Cathar in one of those three cards we don't see? We can kill it with the Resurrected. If there is. All right, Shelly. I believe in you. Mm, I did momentarily anyways <laughs> uh, we're gonna block the initiate takes seven. Oh my gosh oh my gosh that's really good Ouch. Oh, I actually should have done that main phase. The nighttime is going to cost us the game here. Unless we kill something else and just block that. That's fine, too. I was going to maybe try to get the shouldered back as a, a secret blocker, right? That they weren't expecting. Ooh, loving that land. <laughs> uh, this is going to force a discard. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll just take this now. Whoops. Learn how to read, kid. We mean to destroy and take back our shouldered. They have nothing to take after they've already paid the ward. Oh, you're a pleasant surprise. Land out, and um, 
or defending. We can cycle these blood tokens if you know they're gonna take our shoulder for life gain. I assume they do. Yeah. Brutal. Very good. So we know we can toss the corpse appraiser instead. Just taking the life, really important part of the process here. Toss the other land. Now up to eleven. Hmm, I got to deal with that officer. The might is actually kind of fairly problematic as well. Like, you know, gain unblockable and whatever. I mean, it's an easy double block on the, the you know, the one or we single block the other. I don't necessarily see the appeal of this, but... We are at 11, they could probably just grind us down. That's what they're thinking, right? So... Yeah. Not find that at all. I take the trespasser. Probably a good call. Get a red source that we don't have to pay for. Yeah, I'm counter magic up, right? So. They're just going to keep hitting with this, so we have to attack. We have to race. Oh, please give me your draw engine. I mean, it makes sense. It's a one drop for a four drop. We have a counter magic up on a Cathar. Or an Adeline. Jeez. That was a good card. Dragon's gonna come down for a you know multicolor defense strategy. They probably pay the life, right? Pay two, gain three, net positive of one, plus you gained unblockable damage. But you lost protection, which we don't have any removal, so that's fine. Oh, that's that's not good. No, neither's that. Let's do this. We're not uh, paying life at all for it. We attack, but then they can do the might thing. We have for six, they gain three. We don't have enough life to support that. Next turn, you know, we're going to hit for 10. No, I can't do it. I, I... We're too far down on our life total for now. We need a, uh, an Apprentice Folly or something. Something juicy. That's juicy for them. So is that. Are they going to pay for the Might? I'll block what they don't pay. You know, like if they choose black, I'll block red. If they choose red, I'll block black. Obviously, they're going to choose black with block red. It is what it is. Definitely choosing from black, right? Yeah. We still take it. I'm gonna kill the vanguard now. 
They probably have copies of the mic. And I'm also going to switch gears into attack mode. They would have had the might to protect anyways. They would have had the might. Oh, no. Welcome to Magic the Gathering. You looking to have fun? One turn too late. One turn too late, homie. One turn too late. Ay, ay, ay. I think that's game. I mean, I'd like to see the rest. Yeah. We got nothing for this. Did they just, uh, no, almost. I mean, it was a good game. We almost had it. We were really close working for it. Um, they had a really aggressive start and, uh, you know, it is what it is. Going first with bad land is a mulligan. Going first with very slow land is still cute, though. Disappear can... Go, maybe... That's all we can do. Mirror's a late, you know, late stage thing for us. This is going to open up a tower. Um, hopefully... We get another land here quickly. Abzan, white, green, and... Bark. I will exile that. This is just phenomenal for us. Goodbye forever. Third land off the top. Yes, yes, yes. Um, creature based deck. Pass turn. It's nothing to take. I'd rather counter and then take what we counter. Yeah? Let's take it. Next turn we have a double play. Killing their shielded. Is it a wandering emperor? Well, let's find out, kids. Normally, I wouldn't do this, but we uh, have a make disappear in our hands, so let's see it. Ha ha ha! I'll allow it. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, okay. I can't kill it. It's a freaking artifact, dude. I'm still going to go for it. Even though it opens up their attack with Menace, I think the race is in our favor. Right? Because we're hitting for a ton. More than they can gain. It may be more favorable for them to defend. Unless they absolutely dunk on us. Police don't dunk on me. Oh, they are going to dunk on me. The untap. Nice, homie. That is good. So we're in block mode, that means we have no other choice. <laughs> yep. That virtue threw my plan on my, you know, its, it's head, right? So. Oh, I wish I would have blocked last turn. <laughs> what do you do? What do you do?
Triple in case they remove one. They do have two cards in hand. They could remove two. Bok, Bok. First strike. Ugh. You still get it. That's very upsetting to me. Gain life while we're here. Oh, that was a bad choice. <laughs> Alright. Oh! Well, we're parsing through our deck uh, faster than we would have been. What if they two have it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm taking it. I'd rather no one have it. I'd rather no one, because it's not like we have the virtue in hand. They could. I don't know this. That's a 20. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> we get them, which is important. Jesus Christ, this land. They should be bringing their land out to put a plus one on. Okay, they're gonna. They actually are gonna attack with it here as well, which is good. I think last turn maybe they could have as well. Right, so you can even tap it. It doesn't have to attack. It just needs to be in play, right? So you can get away with it one mana early. Okay. There's no creatures to exile. I've already taken them. So we're gonna lose our lose our graveyard with a double block, I assume. Just a single. It's just a 3-3 three, three otherwise, which I don't know if it's worth it. Taking the draw, this goes to 3, then to 4. Which is great. That's why I need the removal. Okay. Oh, no. I guess we're getting it. That's so good for them. Dang, bro. Dang, bro. Dang, bro. Nice. They Ashiok. And how many lands have we just pulled here? Like, oh my lord. Not great. So they're going to activate this and kill it. We got nothing. Just beseech a two drop removal into my hand. I think that's game. Because they're just going to activate this and then it goes to the...
No, it's not going to work unless we can kill that. Make disappear would have been tapped. We can look for a resurrected, I guess. That would have been our best bet, maybe. Good game. I think they've got us. Right, let's... I didn't realize they had uh, two cottages out. Uh, <laughs> Oakley Doakley. Grixis mid-range. Um, you know, the Folly can generate so much value, but at the same time, can kind of hinder the deck if you top deck that and have nothing, right? So, you know, it's a high risk reward. At the end of the day, you know, I'm just playing for fun, right? Yes, I'm sure we could build the Grixis deck without the Folly. Um... But why? You know, look how cool it is. You can copy the Harvester. You can copy the Appraiser. You can copy Shouldered or the Dragon or the Resurrected. It's um, you know, it's pretty decent, I think. Like, just the idea of having multiple Shoulders in play, that really excites me, right? And it's, it's, it's worth trying and it's worth making that deck as good as we possibly can, right? Even though it may not be the best deck, uh, um, you know, it's still something that I liked doing and I hope you guys enjoyed as well. With that being said, thank you so much. Cheers. Have a magical day. Like, comment, subscribe, become a YouTube member, join that community Discord, and uh, kick it, you know? Kick it, kick it big, and uh, we'll see you soon in the next. <laughs>